All right. A video as quick as I can make it on ADVPN deployment using custom templates from Forta Manager. You really never want to use the wizard. It will just jack up your world. Um, so let's get started. So we actually have a FortiGate here that uh, we've deployed manually. It is in an ADVPN mesh. Uh, everything is up and working. We look at our SD-WAN rules. Uh, we've got all of our SD-WAN rules here. Uh, we've got our performance SLAs to Hub 1 and Hub 2. Everything is cool. All right, so let's transition over to the Forta Manager and see how we can pull in the information from this device, uh, which is the AAAA, and deploy it to everywhere else and you know make everything basically zero touch. All right, so AAA is already in Forta Manager. What we want to do is actually pull in all of the configuration and templatize it. So let's go to IPsec. We're going to pull in import and we're going to call it IPsec underscore spoke. Again, this is going to be used for every single spoke that we deploy. SD-WAN, pull that in two, import SD-WAN, spoke, put from AAA, cool. All right, we need BGP, BGP is not up here. Let's go to feature visibility, turn on BGP, and there she is. Import BGP underscore spoke, right? Components of ADVPN are IPsec, SD-WAN, BGP, static routes sometimes. Um, so it's pulling static routes. Call static spoke, and of course, firewall policies. Cool. All right, we've got IPsec tunnel. So here is the import from the AAA. Let's take a look at it. Uh, what are the static values here? Outgoing interface. So that's my WAN one and the local ID. We want to be want to make that templatized. So let's make a WAN one interface. Let's make a site underscore name. Um, right. This is BGP on loopback, which uses uh, the Exchange IP address. So let's turn in that last octet to a variable. Let's call that site ID. So let's go ahead and make those variables. Policies objects advanced. We're underneath meta variables. We have one already called prefix. Let's create a new one and we'll call this WAN1 interface. And default value is, uh, and most of my sites are gonna have port one. So we'll make that default value. And guess what? There is also going to be a WAN2 interface. Let's create new WAN2 interface. Default value is port two. Right, but we can change it on a per site basis. We want our site underscore name. We don't have any default values for that. We have our site underscore ID and no default values for that. So there we go, we've got these variables. So let's go over to our device manager device, right click here, go to edit variable mapping and prefix.local. Let's go ahead and set that. So this site, its internal network is that the site ID is going to be 22. The site name is going to be AAAA. WAN one interface is going to be port one. We technically don't need to put anything in there because it will pull across the uh, the default value, but why not? Let's put it in there. All right, let's go back to our provisioning template, IPsec, and come in here and let's templatize everything. Let's variableize it all. So port one. So it's going to be dollar sign WAN one interface, right? And which this one's going to be AAA underscore port one. So it's actually going to be dollar sign site name underscore WAN one int. I'm going to highlight that, copy it. So these are all WAN ones. So let's do that same thing here. Bam, bam, done. One, one, skip the twos because that's on port two. So do these next two. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we got all the WAN ones. Let's do the WAN twos. Come in here. It's gonna be WAN two int. So copy that. WAN two int. Boom. WAN two there. Boom, boom, boom. And these other two. Boom, boom, boom. All 
right? And then, like I said, our exchange <laughs> IP for BGP and loopback, which is underneath the letter E right here. It's going to be dollar sign site ID. So it's going to be 99.22 for this one. All right, did the top one. Scroll down, letter E, bam. Two, whoops, not there. Right, where's the letter E? There's letter E, bam. Bam stop shins, where's the letter E? There we go. And rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. All of our overlays. There we go. Bingo. Our IPsec template is completely done. We can use that for any spoke now, as long as we have the variable set. Moving along to SD-WAN, let's take a look at this guy. All right, SD-WAN, what's important here? Well, we've got the interface and a gateway. So we need to add in WAN1 gateway, WAN2 gateway. What else do we use? Uh, the local network, local LAN. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, that looks good. So let's cancel out of here. Let's go back to policies, advanced. We've got the prefix local. This is to WAN1 underscore gateway. And WAN2 underscore gateway. All right, let's go back to the device manager. Obviously, you can set these variables from that other page I was just on, but this is uh, really easy to do it. Uh, gateway here is, uh, let's see, 3.1.0.2. 3.1.0.2. There we go. All right, this one's going to be 3.1.02. Very good. Now let's go look at our policy that objects and our firewall objects. Let's look at local, local LAN here. And we want this to be our dollar sign prefix. Let's go check our, our prefix here on our device just to make sure our prefix is correct. Yep, the 33 network. Perfect. All right, back to our provisioning templates, SD-WAN. Let's go ahead and variableize this. All right, port number one, dollar sign WAN interface. And it's going to be dollar sign WAN gateway. That looks good to me. Be WAN2, dollar sign WAN2 interface, dollar sign WAN2 gateway. Bingo, bingo. All right, this is already already using local LAN, which is good. Good, good, good. Uh, good, hey, that looks good. SD-WAN uh, template is done, this spoke. Let's look at BGP. What can be variableized here? Oh, the router ID, we already know that. We can do dollar sign site ID. Okay, that's all normal. That's gonna be the same for everybody. What else can we use? Oh, here are our local network, dollar sign prefix list, local. Now, obviously you can do a plus plus in here and add more prefixes. You can do multiple prefixes for your variables, or you can use a Jinja script uh, that kind of builds that out for you. Okay, looks good. That's system template. We're not doing one right now. Probably good to have one. Static routes. <coughs> okay, these are all the uh, your default route, quad zero versus it goes to the virtual WAN link, nothing to change there. These are just black hole routes for uh, RFC 1918 space. So really nothing to do there either. So guess what? We are completely done. Let's make a template group. TG underscore spoke. Let's add that in. System no IPsec, yep. Boom, BGP, yep. Static route, yep. SD WAN, yep. Bingo, bingo. All right, let's go back to devices and groups. Let's make a group called spokes. Let's add that member. Boom, there's spoke, there's AAA. Come back to our provisioning template, our template group, right click. We can assign that now to the spoke group. So any FortiGate we put in spokes are gonna get this. Let's do an install wizard, which is gonna overwrite my configuration. We're gonna only do spoke, which really only has AAA in it.
got some errors. What is it not like? Uh, typical to see minimum pre shared. Uh, you know, this is a this is a bug. This is a silly, dumb bug in this version. So I have to come in here. And unfortunately for the pre shared key. Make this pre shared key of this. Like I said, this is a known bug, very annoying. It sometimes gets it, sometimes doesn't. Fortinet knows about it, and it should be in the next, next release. Even though the pre shared key was already existing, it Somehow it does something silly to it. All right. Let's do that install wizard again for just a spoke. Let's do the install preview, see what it's going to actually push and what's it actually going to do. All right, obviously resetting our pre-shared secrets because that's a bug. Um, the static routes, all it's doing is adding the comment that this is now owned by the Fortin manager. That is it. That tells me those minimal, those minimal changes tells me that my provisioning template is identical to what is actually already on my FortiGate, um, which means I was successful in my Forta manager um, provisioning templates. That's how easy it is. Cheers.